Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon if you're watching this later in the day. And remember, there will be a tropical update this afternoon, and it will be early. I don't know if y'all noticed last night, but I posted a little late last night. I didn't, I didn't like the information I was finding. It did not seem right according to what's going on. And it has corrected itself. Yay! <laughs> If you've never been here before, hello. My name is Mark. I do upload every single day, including a tropical update every single afternoon. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. But I will make sure that you have everything you need before I go to Sabbath. And if it is a major hurricane, I will be honoring Sabbath and make sure you be okay and live streaming the hurricane for you. So hit that subscribe button because I am all year around. And if y'all loving these tropical updates, hit that like button for me. Thank you so much. For all the support that y'all have been giving me, y'all are truly the best community on YouTube. And I've seen lots of communities. Nobody is like y'all. God bless you all. May you all be safe during this event. Remember, all the links are in the description to save you time. I know you have a lot of things going on. God bless you all. Hope the chaos isn't too bad for y'all. Now, last night, it was a little bit crazy on the information. The models just was not acting right. Matter of fact, it showed two to four inches of rainfall for Jamaica, and I was talking to some people from Jamaica last night. I stayed up to about midnight answering questions, and they got a lot of rainfall. Both models were wrong. I'm talking double of what they said. So God bless you, Jamaica. I'm so sorry these models let y'all down. Now the center of the storm is approaching the Cayman Islands, and it's going towards Cuba. And you still have your Hurricane Watch, for the coast of Louisiana and part portions of Mississippi. Except now they're noticing a big difference. Now they're showing that it could be a Cat 3 major hurricane up to 115 miles per hour sustained winds. I found some a little bit stronger, but that's about it. Now as you can see, the storm in the East Pack as is growing, it is causing some outflow and this is trying to shear off a little bit on the storm but it's not shearing it enough at all. Matter of fact, if you see the upper level low, it's about to move over Louisiana and get out of the way. And this thing is really about to start stretching his legs and start strengthening up as soon as it comes off of Cuba. And you can see the outflow coming right here on this shot. And it is trying to mess up Ida a little bit. And it is messing it up just a little bit, but not enough. Look at, look at the perfect outflow coming out of Ida right here as it's getting away from that upper level low with all the shear it was causing. Now it's starting to be able to breathe and do what it's going to do. The models were just confused. Usually it's just a euro that gets confused over landfall. Matter of fact, I'm showing a euro still might be a little confused. However, I do have the impacts for you guys, and I do have the wind for you as well as what it's going to look like so far towards landfall. All I ask is if you do use social media, please share this information on social media. It's a lot of chaos going out there right now. I can feel it, and people are a little worried about supplies, to worry about this hurricane, whether to leave, whether or not. Please share this information, help others. God bless you all. Thank you so much for helping. If you don't use social media, just hit the like button. YouTube will suggest it for you. Thank you again. Life-threatening heavy rains, flash flooding, and mudslides are expected across Jamaica, Cayman Islands, and Western Cuba, including the Isle of Youth. There is an increasing risk of life-threatening storm surge inundation along the coast of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, where a storm surge watch is in effect. I do have all that information for you as well, guys. There is an increasing risk of dangerous hurricane force winds beginning Sunday along the portions of the coast of Louisiana and Mississippi, including metropolitan New Orleans, where a hurricane watch is in effect. Now, Hurricane Ida is also expected to produce heavy rains across the central Gulf Coast from southeast Louisiana to coastal Mississippi and Alabama, as well as the lower Mississippi Valley starting Sunday into Monday, resulting in considerable flash, urban, small stream, and riverine flooding. And the rainfall amounts has added up pretty dramatically, guys. If you look right here on the map, you can see one to two inches of rainfall is in light green, two to four inches in the dark green. You have four to six inches in all this yellow. You have six to 10 inches in all this orange, which is heavy enough, but it gets worse. You got 10 to 15 inches expected in this red, and there's an area that's showing 15 to 20 inches of rainfall, and this is right next to New Orleans. Now your storm surge. You have two to four feet all below Lake Charles. 
you have four to seven feet from Rockefeller Wild, Wildlife Refuge all the way across to Morgan City. So definitely the West Bay. Vermilion Bay, four to seven feet. Lake Maripas, two to four feet. Lake Pontchartrain, three to five feet. Seven to 11 feet all around the boot of Louisiana and all the way over towards Mississippi, Alabama border. From Ocean Springs to Mississippi, Alabama border, it goes down four to seven feet. And then it goes three to five feet all the way from Mississippi, Alabama border all the way to the Alabama, Florida border. So there's a lot of stores, storm surge coming. Mobile Bay, three to five feet. Now the update, Hurricane Ida is expected to be a major hurricane come 2 p.m. Sunday and then drop down to a hurricane after landfall, then be a tropical storm come 2 a.m. Tuesday over Mississippi and towards a tropical depression as it goes towards Tennessee on Wednesday. Now the storm surge flooding guys. Blue means greater than one foot above ground of flooding. Yellow is above three feet. Orange is above six feet. And red, red is greater than nine feet above ground. Red is just unbelievable. And we have some red. So you can see right, right above Cameron, you have all this blue, which is one of three feet above ground of storm surge flooding. As you get to Vermilion and go around to St. Mary's, it gets to three feet above. You even get some orange where it's expected to be six feet above uh, ground for flooding. Now, when you get towards Homa and Lafouche, you get to where the yellow is three feet above ground storm surge flooding. You have this orange right here that is six feet. And the red is all above ground nine feet storm surge flooding, guys. So there is going to be a lot of storm surge. And there's going to be a lot of flooding because of it. St. Bernard, you got above three feet and six feet. And as you go towards North Shore, this is actually where I grew up. You got Slidell, you got the Causeway Bridge, and you got Mandeville right here along the lakefront. That's where I grew up at. And every time we used to get hurricanes, it would always flood the lakefront and it would flood for blocks on down the street. So I know what it's like with the flooding that y'all dealing with because I was born and raised in New Orleans and Mandeville was my hometown all through high school. But y'all are expected the blue above one feet, the yellow is three feet above ground of storm surge flooding. And y'all got some orange in there, which is six feet above storm surge flooding. Another bad spot is right over here by the coast of Mississippi. Waveland, you look like a pretty hot spot where you got some orange and some reds, showing that it'd be six feet with the orange above ground storm surge flooding and above nine feet in all this red. So please watch out because you have a lot of storm surge coming. And as you go towards Biloxi, it's less amount. You have a lot of yellow, which is three feet above ground, which is heavy enough. But you do have some orange in there that is above six feet above ground for flooding. Now, who's going to see the winds? The tropical storm force winds where you got at least 39 miles per hour winds up to 73 miles per hour winds. You got 100% in all this purple, 90 in all this dark red. Then it goes 80, 70, 60, which all the way to the brown. And it gets less all the way to 10, all the way from Texas, all the way around to the Panhandle of Florida, even portions of Southwest Georgia is gonna be feeling these winds. And who's gonna feel 60 miles per hour winds? Down here, you can see the percentages. The red is right on the corner with 80%, but you have the 70% in this big orange section right here, mostly towards Lafayette. 60 in the brown, and then it goes down 50, 40, 30, all the way to 10. Still hugging up eastern Texas as well with 60 miles per hour winds. And so far, I'm sure this will be updated as soon as they show this being consecutive and getting off landfall. So, so far, it's 50% chance in this brown, but it's 40% chance of hurricane force winds right here on the edge. Then it goes down to 40% in all this yellow, 30, 20, 10% chance of hurricane force winds. Now, the new intensity guidance is out and it is fixed, thank God, because last night was a little crazy on what it showed for information, guys. It was, it was all over the place. Now, two, maybe four, four ensembles show it could be just ridiculous. And one of those might be the Euro, because the Euro's still showing ridiculous. But the rest of the ensembles, almost all of them, show it'd be at least a Cat 2 hurricane. And a few of them show it's still gonna be a potential major hurricane. And one of them is GFS. And the new guidance model shows that within 48 hours, Hurricane Ida will be right here. And then it's going to start intensifying and still traveling a little bit west. I don't see that sharp turn towards Mississippi. That's gone. 
Although it still is east side loaded, Mississippi, so you still got to worry about the rain and the winds. Plus, I'm still showing our next storm is still coming, guys. If you remember, it was always two that we saw. Good news, though, is if you didn't see last night, the update, the cold front is coming in the beginning of the month. Looks like it could be smacking this storm down and not being an issue at all. And when you look at the AO, the Arctic Oscillation, where the cold air is coming down, it's still showing that it's coming, from, according to the Euro, all the way from the 29th, and it's already starting to come down. And the strongest point is from the 1st to the 2nd. It might carry to the 3rd. That's the strongest so far, according to the Euro. The GFS shows that it goes even deeper into our country, and it lasts for quite some time before it does a dramatic leave out of our country. And so far, the deepest into our country, just so y'all know, is on the third, and it is bringing 60s even further down in the south. So I definitely believe that this cold front, when it comes down, will be knocking that next wave away because it'll be towards the Western Caribbean as this is coming down. So it's kind of perfect timing. And y'all still will be in the 40s for the northwest and the northeast when this happens. I did make a video on that the other day. The age wharf shows the same spot down to a 950. Well, the newest run, the 6Z that came out, it still shows around the same area, a little bit more to the west according to the GFS, and it still shows a lot of strength, 952. And now the models are starting to act right because yesterday when I looked, it was barely even hurricane force winds. It was a little crazy. I think the models really were confused last night. But now it shows it's 124 miles per hour wind gusts, and that is a strong system. That's what I expected to see. When I check for the sustained winds, I'm showing just like it showed on the app of 115, I'm showing 116 miles per hour major hurricane. 111 makes a major hurricane. With 126 miles per hour wind gust. And the rainfall expected from that is heavy. Right here in this very light shaded purple is 18 inches of rainfall expected. And that's going right towards New Orleans. Plus everybody else has up to six to seven to eight inches of rainfall expected in all this dark brown and all this purple you can see is 10 and 11 inches as well. You got 14 starting right here on the dark purple, 18 on this light purple. Definitely by New Orleans. And this big shade of six to eight inches of dark brown right here will go across southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, and other portions of northern Mississippi as well. And for the whole track, you can see it does affect Mississippi, Alabama, even Tennessee with this rainfall as this system comes on land. Now, the Zero Z from the Euro showed a 976 hurricane. And it actually shows now that it's a 969, and it's a little bit more to the west. However, as far as the strength, Euro is always confused when there's land. When there's no land, Euro is the best. It, it picks up things other models don't pick up, and usually it's always right in those cases. When there's land involved, it really confuses it. Until it comes off Cuba, we're not going to know the truth about Euro. Euro is only showing at 82 miles per hour, barely a hurricane. And it is picking up that it does have 115 miles per hour wind gusts so far. It will change as soon as it gets off of land of Cuba. However, GFS is still picking it up. And the difference between the Euro and the GFS is the Euro is still showing at 18 inches of rainfall, but it's not showing it over New Orleans because it's going more west. It's more like by the west bank of Louisiana, but more offshore than land. But there is 11 inches in all this purple and 10 inches in all this white and light purple. Everybody else is getting anywhere from 5 to 7 inches in all this dark brown. All the way up Louisiana, as well as portions of Mississippi as well going north. And this heaviness is going to spread up Mississippi to northern Mississippi. And everybody's getting 3 to 5 inches in all this light red all the way up to tennessee even over there towards north carolina and that's the update so far guys that's all your information according to noah that way you can get prepared for what you need to get prepared for for your winds and especially the flood and the flooding is going to be a big issue especially especially with the storm surge so god bless all of you trying to prepare for this may nothing be in your way i pray it is very easy for you to do whatever you need to do i know it's very chaotic over there right about now i remember how it was when i lived there and People really get around and go get everything and get crazy on the roads too. So be careful. Be safe. Everything is just like it's supposed to be. God bless you all today. I hope you have a very blessed day today. I want to speak a word of our Father to you. Let you start your day off with God. Amen, as we all should every day. Today I'm going to read 
Psalm 66. Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto God, How terrible art thou in thy works! Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee, and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name. Selah. Come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Selah. O bless our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. For thou, O God, hast proved us, thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net, thou laidest affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads, we went through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. I will go into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the, with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats. Selah. Come and hear. All ye that fear God, and I will declare what he hath done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But verily God hath heard me, he hath attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Amen. Bless you all today. Hope you have a very blessed day. Please, I hope you're getting prepared for this. I have heard from the comments a lot of you are getting prepared or already are prepared. Thank you so much for listening to the early warnings. I hope it helped. Please share this on social media if you do know the people in these impacts. Let them know about this surge coming let them know about the flooding coming let them know that major cat 3 hurricane is still on the table now thank you so much for helping out may god have mercy on you and your family as well all glory does go to yahweh god of jacob the almighty <laughs> and he's in control I will see you all this afternoon for the update. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Even so, come quickly. Amen. God bless you all.